New Zealand, also known as Aotearoa in the indigenous Maori language, is a small island nation located in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. With a population of just over 5 million, this country is renowned for its breathtaking natural landscapes, diverse culture, and friendly people. From the snow-capped peaks of the Southern Alps to the sandy beaches of the North Island, New Zealand is a land of contrasts that offers visitors a unique and unforgettable experience. Those arguably most familiar with New Zealand's picturesque landscapes have to be the almost 35,000 truck drivers who call this island nation home. New Zealand is home to the 52nd largest road network in the world, with a total length of 96,817 kilometers, 11,000 kilometers of which is made up of the country's state highway network. Valued at 23 billion New Zealand dollars, this highway network connects almost all major population centers in the country, and requires a hefty $2.2 billion annually to maintain. This price tag does come with many benefits though, as New Zealand's highways are some of the best in the world, and considering how reliant the country is on cars and trucks for transportation, the condition of these roads is essential to keep the nation functioning. Heavy vehicles such as trucks are capped at a maximum speed limit of 90 km an hour, unless their gross weight is over 2,000 kg, in which case 80 km an hour becomes the maximum. Driving down the left-hand side of New Zealand's roads, you can see trucks from around the world transporting goods. These trucks come in one of two varieties, either cab-over style trucks, which feature a flat face, or what are called traditional cab trucks, which are differentiated by the longer nose at the front. Some of the most popular cab-over trucks in the country are from international manufacturers, such as Scania, Volvo, Iveco, MAN, Mercedes, DAF, Hino, Kenworth, and International. Like Australia, certain American-branded trucks are exclusively produced and used in Oceania, two of which are the Kenworth K200 and the International 9870, both of which are cab-over-style trucks North Americans desperately want and Oceanians are happy to keep from them. Traditional cab trucks typically come from North American brands such as Freightliner, Mack, Kenworth, Western Star, Caterpillar, and International. New Zealand is home to a varied economy, with a total GDP of almost 250 billion US dollars. The country's main exports are dairy products, meat, wood, fruits and vegetables, as well as wine, which are generally shipped to the five main economic partners of China, Australia, the United States, Japan, and South Korea, listed in order of economic importance. All of these industries rely heavily on New Zealand's truck drivers to transport products to and from seaports, as 99.5% of exports and imports are handled via container ship. Though the country has invested quite a bit into their rail network over the years, only 16% of freight is transported by train, leaving the rest mostly up to truck drivers. As is the case in many areas of the world, the average salary for truckers in New Zealand isn't exactly adequate, with the average driver making only 54,405 New Zealand dollars per year. Drivers here are required to take a 30-minute break after 5.5 hours of work time, and in any 24-hour period they're permitted to work up to 13 hours with 10-hour mandatory breaks in between. In a given week, drivers are allowed to accrue up to 70 hours of working time before being required to take a 24-hour rest day. Though this system is somewhat complicated, it seems to function fine for the most part. However, pretty much all truckers wish they could drive and sleep as they personally see fit. In terms of truck regulations, semi-trucks are limited to a maximum length of 23 meters, a maximum height of 4.25 meters, and a maximum gross weight of 50 metric tons. Since individual axle weight requirements are fairly low, New Zealand's trucks generally have more axles than their European or American counterparts. In the country, trucks can come in a variety of unique combinations, such as full trailer and rigid truck combos, pole trailers, and A and B train combinations, as well as traditional semi-trailers. New Zealand's truck drivers play a vital role in the country's economy and infrastructure. As the primary mode of transporting goods, they're crucial to the continued functioning of the nation's economy. Despite all challenges, New Zealand's truckers remain dedicated to their profession, and for that they deserve our gratitude and support, as they ensure that the country continues to thrive and prosper in the years to come. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more trucking content. Let me know what country you'd like to see next, and feel free to check out this channel's Discord linked in the description below. Thanks again, and goodbye.